very much. Uh, thanks, James, for that excellent summary. I've got an even more challenging task. I've got five minutes to talk, um, and so I'll try and do that. Um, no, uh, do people want the lights on? Yes.
uh, the questions that we were asked around that was, do you support random selection? Okay, so it was quite directive and, uh, you know, quite uh, loaded, I suppose. Um, this being said, it was interesting that at, at one point during the workshop, um, things got a little bit out of control and the minister himself had to actually stand up on stage and say and admit that uh, they didn't have it quite right and uh, that um, you know, he, he, he was hopeful that future consultation sessions could be improved on. So what we, what's needed now, um, given the extremely tight time frame for the release of the white paper draft legislation and the passing of legislation in March next year, what we're campaigning now immediately is for more time for community input into the white paper and draft legislation. A lot of people don't even know that the planning reform, that the planning review is actually underway, let alone the actual specific proposals being made. We argue that genuine and meaningful engagement is not only important in the process of making this new legislation, but it is actually essential to the long-term success of this planning reform. And we're trying very hard to get that uh, across the government uh, via various strategies. Um, and we think that, of course, planning is essential to quality of life, our environment, our residential amenity. And these things, the, the well-being of our communities, needs to come first in any planning system. And that at the moment, the planning reforms are looking very much like a developer's agenda.